السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome back to the disciplines and ideas in the social sciences. This is the part two of the module two video lesson. In this video, we will focus on the research designs and methods in social sciences. Please click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet. Also like the video and if you have questions, write them in the comments below. Thank you. Since this is a continuation of module, it will have the same MELC and objectives. Research designs. What is a research design? Research design is the blueprint of the research activities to be taken by such as data collection, data analysis, and data interpretation, in order to effectively address the research questions. It is a comprehensive plan for an empirical research project that aims to sufficiently answer research questions of interest or test specific hypotheses in a logical manner. So, what are the research designs that you can use for your research? Let's find out. Types of research design. We have three research designs. Quantitative, qualitative, and mixed methods research designs. Quantitative research design is intended for theory testing through the examination of relationships among variables. These variables will be measured by using quantitative research instruments such as questionnaires and tests with the intention of analyzing the quantifiable or numeric data through statistical, mathematical, or computational techniques. Some examples are survey and experimental designs. Qualitative research design, also called interpretative designs, focuses on theory building. These strategies of inquiry explore and interpret the meanings that people or groups of people ascribe to a specific social or personal issue. Examples of qualitative research designs are narrative study, phenomenological study, grounded theory, ethnography, and case study. You may also check out our video lesson on Practical Research 1, going into details about these research designs. Lastly, we have mixed methods. This method is the integration of qualitative and quantitative methods. These research designs reflect a new third-way epistemological model that occupies the theoretical space between qualitative and quantitative designs. Examples of mixed methods are convergent parallel mixed methods, explanatory sequential mixed methods, and exploratory sequential mixed methods. Research methods. Before we discuss methods, let us briefly differentiate research design from methods. Research design is the plan that a researcher uses in order to answer the research questions. The methods on the other hand, is the strategy to implement the plan. For example, if you have a research about a certain tribe living in a secluded area somewhere in Lake Sibiu, South Cotabato, then you can use qualitative research design, specifically, ethnography. But the methods that you can use are observation or interviews, or archival study or even participant observation where you live amongst the tribe for a certain period of time. There are three major groups of research methods. Empirical analytical group, interpretative group and mixed methods group. Let's discuss the differences of these three groups on the next section. First is the empirical analytical group. This group concentrates on objective knowledge, closed-ended or instrument-based questions that can only be answered by predetermined responses such as yes or no, which can be found on a test or on a checklist, and operational definitions of the variables to be measured. Empirical analytical group uses deductive reasoning. It uses statistical analysis and interpretation on its data in order to come up with a conclusion. Second, interpretative group. Interpretative group focuses on exploring and understanding a specific phenomenon in a comprehensive and holistic manner. Uses open-ended questions and a wide variety of data such as audiovisual data, documents, interviews, and observation data. Uses image and text analysis for finding patterns and themes in interpretation. Lastly, we have mixed methods. This group requires a researcher to create interpretations across both the qualitative and quantitative collections of data. Research Proposal Format This is the research proposal format that we will use for this subject. After the one summative test, we will have an outline defense. Your proposal will contain five sections. 
First is the problem. In this section, you will present the research issue or problem and explain the importance of studying the issue or problem. This is similar to the background and significance of the study from your practical research too. You may also include the scope and delimitation in this section. The research questions introduce the main issue or problem that your research paper will address in a form of questions. The rationale will explain the reason or reasons why the research issue or problem is compelling to you. Section 4 contains your prior knowledge. Similar to review or related literature, this section will describe what you already know about the research issue or problem. Also, explain what more you need to learn about the research issue or problem. Lastly, methodology. This is where you present your chosen research design and research methods. Always communicate with your advisor for suggestions and assistance. That is all for Module 2. I hope this helped you in answering the activities in your module and writing your proposal. See you in the next lesson.